pipeline. Joseph Elliott Prune. So February 15th at the Marconi Auto Museum, the Muay Thai Ultimate will be featuring Robert Lemus and Chris Henry in the co-main event for the IKF belt. All right, so how are we doing today, Chris? I'm doing pretty good. How are we doing today, Robert? Everything good. All right, Chris Henry, you're coming into this fight with a 7-1 and one record. And Robert, you're coming in with 6-2-1. and one. You guys feel like this is going to be the toughest fight of your amateur career? Uh, every fight usually, you know what I mean, it could be. I mean, you know, every fight you do is the next toughest, so, yeah. How about you, Robert? I kind of agree with him. You know, everybody's different, different styles. So, you know, you got to, like, either go back, go forward to your, to your, your, to yourself. All right, so, Chris, out of eight fights, and you've had the opportunity to watch Robert before, you have any, any one of your past fights, you know, kind of resemble what Robert's going to bring to the ring? Um, actually, no. He's a completely different style of fighter. Um, he throws a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So it's a, a lot of the guys I fight a lot slower too. So it's a different fight. Cool. And how about you, Robert? How do you how do you think uh, how do you think this affects you in the fight, knowing that he's got to watch you fight before and you're coming in not knowing much about Chris? You know, I'm just gonna get in there and like pretty much see how it goes, like steady as it goes. You know, like just stepping forward. Try to push the pace, you know, and just don't don't get caught slipping or anything. So Robert, even though you did, haven't gotten to watch him fight, is there any any knowledge at all you've been able to pick up about Chris? Uh, no, we'll just leave it that way. It's I think it's fair. Cool. So uh, Chris, what makes you a threat in this fight? Um, I have high cardio, uh, but then again, like you know, every fight's different. So, I mean, one thing that can be, I can be a threat to somebody else and might not be to Robert. So, it really just comes down to that night and who wants it more. So, Chris, you fought at, you fought at both Thai New Year for a belt already. You've also fought at Glory. This is the second belt that you're fighting for. Also have the experience of being in a title fight before. Coming in with your record of 7-1. and one, Do you think that your, your experience on fighting on bigger stages is going to give you an advantage in this fight? Um, I believe so. I mean, I fought on a pretty, you know, Glory was a really, really big stage and a really, really big deal for me because I've been training in, uh, in Muay Thai for a long, long time. So after watching, you know, K1 and watching like my heroes like Remy Bunyaski and Tyrone Spong and stuff and being able to fight in the same show as, you know, as they fought in, it, you know, it gives me that high experience level. How about you, Robert? How exactly are you going to be prepping for someone who's got the experience with Chris? <laughs> I just stay humble and do what I can do, you know? As you know, like I want it really bad, so let's see, you know, who gets to the top first. It's, it comes down to who's gonna want it more to the end, and I really do want it. All right, so Chris, when you first got the phone call, when you first get the phone call for, for a title fight, co-main event, what comes to your mind when they tell you Robert let Moose? I was excited, like I said, I've seen him fight before, and. Just whenever you fight somebody, you know, with a fun style and, you know, they don't back up very much, it's always going to make a fun fight and makes you train harder. So you said that this is a fight that you would have, when you first saw him, you said this is a fight that you would have liked to have had. This is a fight that you were looking for. Um, I was, once I saw him fight, he was always on my radar. Um, so it was just a matter of time till we get matched up because, you know, we're both still young in our amateur career. We're not pro yet. So, yeah, it's going to happen eventually. So. So, Robert, having a win over Chris Henry, what is this going to do for you as an amateur? Um, I would say just keep going, you know, one step forward. Um, I don't know, like, I don't have anything against him, so it will be a good win because he has a good record. It will put me in, like, more to uh, for the promoters to call me more and have more fights on 2015. All right, so coming down to our last question, starting with Chris. Why will you win this fight? Well, like I said, I sacrificed a lot of things. I sacrificed my job, a lot of stuff. So it made me train really hard for everything. Um, I just wanted really bad. You know, this is a, another belt opportunity for me to win another championship belt. Uh, yeah, I have a really good style and just a traditional Thai style. I'm just looking forward to fighting. I would say I got a lot of heart. 
and I think you have to take my head off to to make me lose pretty much. I'm a tough guy, but like I said, I'm gonna stay humble and we'll see what happens in February 15th.